Hello students, I am Dr. Mani Soni and today we will be discussing previous year asked questions from dermatology. So without wasting much time, let us begin. Here this question was asked that a dermatological manifestation of which of the following diseases present something like this and what you can see here that the patient is having lesions okay and these are generally present over exposed areas like face. These are slightly dark as if the patient is having uh, photodermatitis because it is occurring over sun exposed areas like face, neck and over the neck of this patient you can see this well demarcated area giving a characteristic appearance known as casual necklace appearance. This is a case of pellagra. So all of you know that there are four Ds in pellagra that is dermatitis, diarrhea, dementia and death. Now when the dermatitis occur, it occurs over sun exposed areas and that's why these patients start developing these lesions over face, neck, V of the neck, dorsum of the hand and when this lesion develop over V of the neck, patients start developing this characteristic appearance as if the patient is wearing a necklace. This is known as casual necklace appearance which is seen in pellagra that is niacin or vitamin B3 deficiency. Now, acrodermatitis enteropathica is due to zinc deficiency and just generally occur over perioral area, perianal area or hand and feet of young children. Photodermatitis per se can occur over exposed areas but generally it is very itchy or have burning sensation and it develops over sun exposed areas and it is erythematous or red in color and this characteristic casual necklace appearance is not very commonly seen in just photodermatitis and vitamin B deficiency can present with multiple uh, condition and uh, aphthous ulcers are generally associated with vitamin B deficiency. Then a patient presented to the OPD with the lesions as shown in the figure. What you can see in the figure that the patient is having some lesions over the lips and these lesions as you can see are small erosions which are present looking like aphthous ulcer but they are present on the outer side of the lip and they are multiple that is grouped together multiple lesions okay so such grouped vesicles develop in herpes labialis which when rupture can lead to such erosions and these erosions are also grouped together as seen in the image so this is a case of herpes labialis okay impetigo contagiosa is the name given for non bullous type of impetigo which generally present with golden yellow honey colored crusting the common site is face pemphigus vulgaris presents with blisters which are very flaccid so flaccid blisters and they can rupture to form erosions and varicella zoster virus can cause chicken pox or a reactivation can cause herpes zoster where the lesions are unilateral along a particular dermatome. So this is a case of herpes labialis. Next question, they are saying that identify the image given associated with scaling and itching. So this is the image, this is the lesion and the lesion is annular. Annular that is ring like lesion. So this ring like lesion is present over probably the arm of the patient and the patient is having scaling and itching in this lesion. Now remember that granuloma annular which is usually associated with underlying diabetes so commonly seen in diabetic patient are also annular as the name itself is suggestive but remember that this is asymptomatic. So these are generally asymptomatic lesions but here itching is present so this is not granuloma annular. Pyoderma gangrenosum generally present with ulcers so here ulcers are absent so this is not pyoderma gangrenosum and ichthyosis vulgaris presents with very dry skin and fish like scales and it involves major areas like arms whole leg or whole trunk so it is not localized to just one annular lesion instead it is having a diffuse involvement so this is not ichthyosis vulgaris this is a case of tinea corporis which presents with annular ring like lesions which can have a scaling and it is a very itchy condition caused by dermatophytes. So answer here is tinea corporis. Coming to the next question here they are saying that a baby born with membrane. So this is a very characteristic feature which is seen in which condition? Yes, ichthyosis and this membrane was around him at the time of birth which of the following condition 
can be the diagnosis yes so this is a case of ichthyosis and in which type of ichthyosis because you can see different types of ichthyosis mentioned in the option so which type of ichthyosis generally present with membrane around the baby at the time of birth and the answer is lamellar ichthyosis and such baby is known as collodion baby and such membrane is known as collodion membrane Moving to the next question, here they are saying that a lesion was seen on the face of a 42-year-old patient. So, this is the patient and the lesions are present over face. Which of the following would be the ideal management of this condition? So, what will be the ideal management of this condition? Now, what you can see here, you can see a well-demarcated lesion, which is solid raised. So, this is a plaque. And this plaque is having some changes in the central portion. So, there are some changes which are present in the central portion. So, do you know of any condition where this erythematous, as you can see, this redness is present around the lesion. So, this erythematous slightly elevated plaque is present with central, yes, scarring. This is feature of lupus vulgaris which is the most common type of cutaneous tuberculosis and that's why the management will be start anti-tubercular therapy. Now why the answer is not topical retinoids because topical retinoids are generally used in grade 1 that is initial acne where lesions are generally comedons. So, this is obviously not acne because acne are papular lesions or comedons are present which are very characteristic of acne. Now, why it is not MDT which is used for leprosy because whenever they talk about leprosy, they will mention that either the lesions are having sensory loss that is the patient do not feel pain, touch, temperature or sometimes they might mention about the nerves involved okay or they might mention about the AFB uh, because these uh, mycobacterium leprae are acid fast bacilli. So, some of the important clues must be given in the question if they are talking about leprosy and oral steroids can be used in various condition. One of the condition where ulcers are seen that is pyoderma gangrenosum, the drug of choice is uh, oral steroids as well as sweet syndrome also have drug of choice as oral steroid, but this is not sweet syndrome and this is not pyoderma gangrenosum. Why? Because sweet syndrome generally presents with fever, underlying malignancy, increased leukocyte count, raised ESR and these tender erythematous nodules are seen while in pyoderma gangrenosum ulcer with undermined edges are seen which are missing in this image so that's why this is also not the answer the answer is lupus vulgaris that is we will start att so thank you very much i hope this session was useful for all of you all the very best